Welcome back to Conversations on Leadership with Dr. Dave. We're here with Susan Collins, and we just talked about what good leadership looks like, plus plenty of other things. And I really want to go ahead and get into the next segment and our next question, because I'm hoping that it ties back into one or two of the things that we had already talked about. But what's one of the biggest leadership challenges that you've had to face? You face big leadership challenges all of the time. The one that comes to mind for me is I worked for a very traditional organization who had been around for over 70 years and they had always done things this way and um, which was had worked for them for many, many years, but I was brought into the organization and some changes needed to happen, right? And one of the changes was uh, technology. Like we just weren't using technology to the best of our ability. We had a large staff that was doing a lot of things manually and it just mm. isn't the way of the world. And so I really had to work with not only the executive team, but the key stakeholders, business partners to help move an organization or from a technology standpoint, because candidates were not going to find us in the newspaper anymore. That just really wasn't going to happen. Um, and so we had to implement, uh, you know, a lot of things, a new applicant tracking system, a new CRM. We had to do some things from a different perspective from uh, as far as branding went. We had to get marketing on board with branding and, you know, marketing is proud and perfect and employer branding is a little more real, right? Like you, you need to have real people in the pictures and you need to talk about the real story because if you're talking about the perfect things, let's be honest, there are no perfect things within an organization. Yeah. And then on top of all of that, I got to launch the applicant tracking system in the middle of a hurricane. Out, out, out. Yeah, it's, I could imagine it being tough when you're coming in and you're like, you know, why aren't we getting the people we need? Oh, that's right. Because nobody's watching. Nobody's looking at the daily news. They're going to the local paper, putting a quarter in, getting it out and saying, hey, let me look for a job. Maybe a few people, but that's not not the way of the Indeed world. This not time. the way of the Indeed world. And, and I'm exaggerating a little bit, right? Like we weren't using newspapers, but there were just definitely some efficiencies we could build into the system to make just to fill jobs with under 30 days, right? Like your goal is to get a job filled within under 30 days and you have to have really clear branding. You have to have a following. You've got to be able to communicate your employee value proposition externally and you have to know what that is. So you can't be talking about things that you're proud of if internally nobody cares. Nobody cares about that thing. So stop talking about that thing because nobody cares. It makes you feel good, but nobody cares. It's funny you mentioned that because I just talked to some folks not that long ago. And it was it was funny that they were, they were talking about revenue science. And it was a revenue science course, actually. And it was hilarious because what you said is almost exactly what they said. Hey, we've been around for 72 years. We have 15 offices. We're this, we're that, we're that. Does the buyer really care? I mean, other than the fact that you're not, you know, fly by night, you know, Johnny come lately, kind of whatever. I mean, do they really care that you have 1,500 people that work there that you have? You know, I mean, no. I mean, nobody nobody cares that of all these things that typically what goes out from a company. And it's hilarious that you 